Hey guys and welcome to a new video from Hackanons. Previously, we seen how to map the HTML button to a Python script using Flask. We will link that video in the tab section. But in today's video, we will be seeing something really interesting that is how to convert a Python script to an API. Well, if you do not know what an API is, basically APIs are really beneficial for creating hybrid applications where we connect certain backend to our frontend. For example, the web page that is visible to us when we log on to any website is handled as the frontend that is HTML, CSS, React, Angular, etc. And what connects to it to display data and certain queries is done using the API and the API connects to a database. Some of the type of APIs are get, where you can use to get certain data, then there's post to post certain data, put to update your data, patch and delete. One example of a REST API can be called as a COVID tracking API. So basically the COVID tracking API gives us data based on how much cases have been taken per day, the number of deaths and how many are recovered. So for example, this COVID API gives us certain endpoints. For example, the HTTPS API COVID tracking.com slash daily JSON will give us a JSON data. As you can see, this number of cases per day, etc. So it's a big set of JSON data. Likewise, there are many more endpoints which we can make use in our projects to include these APIs. Well, the most common ones that mostly we used are get and post. And that is what we are going to cover in this tutorial. So we will be creating a simple API that will get and post data using the Flask API present. So let me show you what we are actually going to do. So basically I have created uh, endpoint using the local host and I'm going to post certain data using the API and let me show you what is going to really happen. So basically I'm giving a JSON file as the input using the post method and inside that there is a key value pair of two numbers that is 20 and 30 and when I press send as you can see it returns an output of the four common operations that you can do on a number that is its addition, division, multiplication and subtraction. Well, this data receives back as a JSON and we can make it used in a front end application. So without further wasting time, let's start the coding of this API. So what I've done is created a folder and I've named this as API video. And inside that, I've created a Python file and named it as main.py. So first thing, if you haven't installed Flask on your device, you simply need to do that by typing pip install Flask. And you please simply press enter and the Flask will get installed on your local machine. And now we shall first thing import Flask. So I'll say from Flask, import the Flask app. So now I'll simply create the app using the Flask class and I'll put in the name dunder method. Okay. Now once we have done that, the first thing that we need to do is create a route. So for that, I'll use the decorator that is app.route and inside the parenthesis, I will give a route. So this route will be a result. Okay. So basically, whenever we log on to this certain endpoint of the route, we will get certain data through the API. And for that, we will obviously be posting data. So inside the methods, I'll open the Python list and I will specify that we will be posting data as well as we will use it to get data. So basically this route will support the post as well as the get method. And now I'll create a function to wrap it and I'll call the function as result. And the function will simply get certain output from our data and present that to the API endpoint. 
so first thing is what i'll do is i'll simply create a return statement saying that api and i will return basically a dictionary which is more than another thing said as a json object and i'll just say response positive so basically i want just want to show you guys how you can make use of this api to return certain response okay and now what i will do is i will create the if name dot main method so i'll say if main so that says if name is equal to main and now i'll simply run the app so i'll say app dot run and i'll debug it as true so basically if we come through any error we will get to know the exact error what is happening in the form of a html page and i'll put the port to 2000 and things look really good so let me just run the app and everything works fine and it's also running as a debugger and let me copy this http code and just copy from here and i'm using postman app for using the api request so basically postman is an app that is used for testing your apis well you can simply download it from the internet and then make use of this so inside this folder of my test i'll just make use of a test method that is get and i will add the local host server link and as well as that i'll put the result okay result so basically what happens is we are taking the link of the server as well as the endpoint of the route and joining them together and now there's not, nothing going in the body as as of now so if i just run this it returns a statement saying that api response positive because i simply returned it using the python dictionary now if you haven't seen the previous video i spoke about something called as a request which will help us to get data in the form of json or any other option so i'll import that from the flask library so it's simply request not request with an s at the end and what i'll say is i'll create a variable called as output and i'll equate it to the request and i want the data in the form of a json object so i'll also add the second function on top of it saying that get json so what i'll say is now the output will be giving us two key values that is num1 and num2 so if the key values is less than two which means there's only one key value come that means we have caused there's been some error and we will return an error statement so what i'll say is if len of output dot keys so basically the output keys is less than two which means there is an error so basically we will return a json object and that will be having a set of errors so i'll just create the key as status and i'll point it to a value saying that bad response okay bad response so let me try to run this out and show you how it exactly should works so everything is running perfect let me go back to my postman and now i want to post certain data so i have to change this parameter from get to post and now i will go to the body and inside this body we will use the raw method and inside the raw i will use the json application post and now we are good to go and post certain data so to see if there is an error invoked i will only put in a single number as the input but we should as you know we will be doing the operation on two numbers so i have to put in two numbers but i'm just trying to invoke an error and if i send this as you can see it works perfect and it says status bad response so back again to the code because the length of the keys given by the output was less than two which was one it returns the status or bad response and well if i even given a simple that is a plain dictionary as an input it will cause the same error because now the length of the keys are zero since there's no key right now so it's again giving the same output saying that status is bad response now let's start coding the other portion that is creating the data that we need to return to the response 
so what i'll say is num1 is equal to the integer of the output and obviously it's a python dictionary since we are returning it in the form of a get json so we can slice in and obtain the data using its keys so output of num1 and num2 is equal to integer of output and inside the square brackets i will put num2 and now i'll create a dictionary object so i'll call it as cal and it's a basic dictionary which will have key value pairs and i'll say cal addition so the first thing i would like to talk about is addition is equal to num1 plus num2 so this stuff is really simple there's nothing complicated going around here so the next one will be calc subtraction so basically right now i'm creating a set of key value pairs so the key is exam so for example the key is add and its value will be num1 plus num2 and subtraction will be num1 minus num2 so i quickly wrote the methods for the multiplication and division and now we simply need to return the object that we created so i will return cal okay now let's run the code well everything works fine and the server is restarted and it's running on the local host so let me go back to my postman and now i need to give in two numbers as an input so i will say num1 and i'll point it to a value let's say 40 and num2 i will point it to a value of let's say 20 and let's send a request oh okay so we have come to an error it says failed to decode the json object so if you click on this preview you can see the html page of the error caused because we are using the api in the debug mode so it simply says bad request so let me check the the data that i sent okay so i have to just change the quotation mark so let me do that and i think so things look really good now and if I run it, wow, we get a JSON object that says addition is 60, division is 2.0, multiplication gives a value of 800 and subtraction as 200. So if I show you in the form of a pretty, it returns a JSON object. And now you can take this JSON object and maybe put it in your front end application or connect it to your Android app or whatsoever. Well, now you can make use of this knowledge and apply this to create your own APIs. Well, that's it from this simple video where we learned how to implement simple APIs using the Flask library. If you have any doubts, drop them down in the comment section. We are always happy to help you out. And if you like this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the Hackinons YouTube channel. And we'll be back soon with more fun and amazing videos.